And the fun one was batteries not included because on batteries, I was able to, um, I had to work with live action. So I was one of the puppeteers. Uh, I was operating the ships when they were flying around on the flying rig. Um, and so I came up with a gag where the lighting thing in the top of the battery's saucer had a heartbeat at 24 frames a second, 24 hertz. So then when it was in motion control photography, it got a heartbeat once per frame, once per exposure. So that made its changes have the same kind of speed effect as it would, as it did when it was in live action. So there wasn't a change between the lighting between motion control and live action. That's just amazing the way, because yeah, I'm trying to wrap my head around what you're saying right now. Just it, it hurts a little bit because it's, it's, it's very analytical. It's very logical. And there's a lot of, I'm not, math is not my strongest. It's theory. easier to understand what he just said and watch Tenet again. <laughs> yeah. I don't I'm know. Gonna, it's a toss up. I'm going to turn off my virtual background here for a moment. Mm -hmm. uh, because let me see how do i turn you off i have to scroll up to the top and say none and put a little green screen <laughs> someday i'm gonna get a green t-shirt this color oh, yeah. just a floating head yeah <laughs> yeah um, and uh hang on a minute here i am going to cut to that this is from batteries not included yeah and we were firing oh, Dropping or uh, uh, Jesse Tandy was digging weems out of some pea soup, um, and so this was her handing him back to me. Um, and batteries was lots of fun being down on the set. Uh, oh Jessica Tandy was a wonderful person to work with. <laughs> yeah, um, and those th that that movie was um I, I saw that movie when i was really really young and i had it on a vhs with uh cocoon so i always saw those two movies as like the perfect double feature to see that you worked on both of them was amazing and that's uh yeah that that the this there's something about those effects in those older movies like et and uh batteries not included where it just felt so tangible everything yeah. felt so real because for batteries um, it is real. The saucer in most of the scenes, the saucer is physically present on set, floating in the middle of the set. And the only thing we had to do was wire removal occasionally. Um, you know, if we could see the, the, the wires. But other than that, you know, the, that's the thing is that that meant the lighting on the model matched the lighting in the room because the model's in the room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and the interactive lighting from the model on people and such matches because it's real. Mm -hmm. And that's my beef with computer graphics is, is they get used in places where you can do this practically. Um, and, and practical's better in most cases because it's real. <laughs>